Hi again, here we are to talk about Xcode and uh, I'm going to continue with our to-do app. In the last video we restarted our to-do app and we added a singleton called to-do manager and a class for to-dos, right? And what I'd like to do now is add a table view and use the table view to get the to-dos from the to-do manager. So that'll be a little different than the way the original thing was set up with the array, right? Because now we'll be using this to-do manager single, singleton, right? So I'll go to, um, let's start in storyboard, right? So I'll go to storyboard here. And we're not going to use it today, but we'll need a, um, a, a uh, what do they call that thing? Oh yeah, the navigation controller, right? So why don't we just select our view and we'll go to navigate, or no, editor, uh, embed in navigation controller. Okay, so we got that, and then uh, let's set the size here to a little bit smaller size so we can see everything, right? There we go, that looks pretty good, right? And then what we'll do is we'll grab a table view out of the object palette here. So this is the table view here. We'll drag it in. And, I, you know, I have this um, navigation bar at the top, right? Um, you know, when you're setting up the table view, just ignore the navigation bar. And we're going to make our table view go all the way to the edges like this. And the table view is actually aware of the navigation bar. So the table, I'm sometimes not, but uh, but most often the table view is aware of the navigation bar, and so if it if it overlaps like this, it will move the data down below the table bar, the the you know the cells down below the at the top of the the, the um, navigation bar. So so we'll be okay like this. So um, I'll click on the um, the table view here, and then I'll go to the pin menu, and we'll just pin all the edges like this and click, uh, you know, add four constraints. And then I'm getting a little bit of this orange outline, so I think I need to go in here and choose update frames, and it'll adjust the size to make sure it's, it's right, okay? And there we go. And so the next thing we need to do is add a cell. So here's a table view cell, so I'll grab this and drop it into the table view. And then this cell, we, you gotta make sure it says table view cell at the top here. Right, so this is table view cell, and then what we'll do is we'll give this cell a reuse identifier. So I'm just going to call it cell, all lowercase. Okay, and if if we, you know, if you don't remember that name, you can always come back here and look at it. But that's that goes in table view cell. So you know, if the table view is selected, you you won't see that option. So you got to click on this on the table view there. And if you double click it, you know, you don't see it either because you're you know, clicking on the view inside the table view. You, you have to be on the table view cell right here, okay? Anyway, so there's our table view cell. It's got an identifier of cell, okay? And now um, let's go to view controller. So looking at view controller here, um, it, if this view controller is going to work with our table view, it needs to be a UI table view uh, data source and a UI table view delegate. Okay, so now, you know, we're declaring that this view is going to be the data source and delegate for the table view. And um, now we're getting an error because we don't implement the, uh, the correct methods, right? So uh, let's do one more thing before we continue here, right? Uh, you know what I'm going to do is in view did load down here, let's put a mark and call this, you know, view life cycle methods. Okay, so that's, we kind of know that the view did load, view will appear, and all that stuff is going to be down here. And then we'll add other methods up at the top there. Okay, so let's do one more thing. Now remember, if, if we're going to be the data source and the delegate, we have to tell the table view that this you know, view controller is going to be the data source and delegate. So let's go back to storyboard. And and remember, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. I'm going to control drag from the table view up to the, the little yellow box here, little yellow circle that says view controller. And then I'll choose data source. And then I'll do it again. And for some reason, it won't let me do it that time. Let me deselect everything and do it again. And then I'll choose delegate, right? So we, we need both of those. 
okay? And so if I, if I do it a third time, you'll see that both of these have a little dot on them, right? Okay, so they're both selected. And if you, you know, control click on the thing here, you'll see data source and delegate and table view there. So we know that they're connected, right? Um, let's add one more thing. Let's add a reference to our table view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up view controller in the assistant editor. So I'll option click on view controller here. And so it opens in the assistant editor. And what I want to do is I want to drag from the table view to create a reference to the table view object. Okay, and we'll just call it table view. Okay, so this, this is really not required necessarily, but we might want to talk to the table view to tell it to do things. Usually, we need to have a reference to the table view if we need to tell it to reload its data and refresh itself, right? So if we change the, the number of cells or if we change the data that's in the cells, then we might want to say, hey, table view dot reload data and it'll, it'll reload everything, okay? So, uh, you know, there might be other things that we need to call on. Um, but if we need to talk to the table view, you know, we need a reference to it, okay? If it talks to us, it'll always provide a reference to itself, right? Okay, so anyway, so here we are. Now let's go back to uh, the, you know, let's close down the, uh, the assistant editor. And then we'll go back to our view controller. So this is where we were a minute ago, right? And here's our IB outlet. Why don't we mark that, right? Let's say... Uh, mark colon IB outlets and then over here um, let's add our data source method so we're going to say mark colon uh, table view data source methods right and we need two methods we're getting an error here and the reason why is we don't conform to the UI table view data source right so we have to provide the two methods uh, what is it? Uh, number of rows in section and cell for row at index path. So we'll start with uh, table view. Except we got to spell it correctly to make it work. That, that was like four tries. Okay. So uh, we got table view. And then the one that I want here is number of rows in section. Okay. So we'll choose that. And then we'll return. And then here, again, we'll use the new to-do manager. So to-do manager has a bunch of to-dos in it and it has a count that tells us how many to-dos there are. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in to-do manager dot shared instance dot count. Okay, so now the table view knows how many to-dos there are and it's going to create, you know, a number of cells equal to that number. Okay, so now we need to provide a cell. So we'll type in table view and what we want is we want cell for row at index path. So um, this needs to return a UI table view cell so we need to go get a cell. So let's say let um, table view oh no no wait let cell equal table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier. Okay so this is the one we want dq reusable cell with identifier not dq reusable cell with identifier for index path or dq reusable header or footer and view with in identifier right like those are ridiculously long names but uh, we want the first one okay so anyway so our our cell was called uh, cell you know with lowercase c so we'll type in cell right that's the identifier name and remember we set that in storyboard okay and this actually returns a an optional. If you option click on it, you can see up here it says UI you know it returns a UI table view cell question mark, right? So um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to get that cell. I'm going to put in a exclamation point there to say like, hey, let's unwrap that optional, okay? And then this is going to tell me like, hey, you know what? You created a variable and you you never used it. You could replace it with the underscore, right? But uh, you know, um, I know that I'm going to use that. And then down here it says error because this method, you know, this, you know, cell for row at index path must return a UI table view cell, but we haven't returned anything. So let's say return cell. And that should satisfy this error there and the other one because now we're using the variable, okay? So now that we've done that, 
How do we get a to-do item from the to-do manager? Well, let's make a variable, to-do for the name of the to-do, right? And then we'll say to-do manager dot shared instance dot to-do at index, right? So we're going to say we want the to-do at index. Maybe we should have called that get to-do at index, right? Um, and now we need to provide the index. So this method here provides an index path, which has the section and the row number. So what we're going to do is we're going to put index path dot row. Okay. And then let's configure our cell. So we'll say cell dot text label dot text equals to do dot name. And we'll get the name of the to do and put it into the, the text label. And there we go. Let's give it a test. So uh, I'll click the play button there. Cross my fingers, right? I haven't got any errors yet. Oh, build succeeded. That's a good sign. And there we go. There's our four to-dos, right? So it says get dressed, eat breakfast, brush teeth, tie shoes, right? Um, so anyway, so there's a quick example there of how we might manage our to-dos across an entire app where, you know, or information across an entire app that could get sh shared between multiple views. And in this case, we're using the to-do manager, which is a singleton, and we access all of its properties and methods through the shared instance, right? And here's how we're doing it with a table view. And when we do, um, you know, add some other view controllers, we'll, we'll access it the same way, right? Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that's useful to you guys, and good luck with your projects.